SoCalCollegeSports.com's live coverage of 3C2A men's soccer from West Hills Lamore College. Hosting Taft. We are set and underway. We'll have info to you shortly. West Hills in the blue. In the white, it's Taft. And Taft with the through ball in the box. And we'll stay with Taft in terms of possession. That one headed out. Throw in near side for West Hills Lamore. It's the Golden Eagles and the Cougars here on SoCalCollegeSports.com. Happy you've joined us, everyone. You can watch this broadcast live on our website, www.SoCalCollegeSports.com, also on our YouTube channel. Ball sent over the, the crossbar. Possession may, remains in the middle of the field with West Hills Lamore. It'll be a free kick for the Golden Eagles. That ball into the top of the box. Headed out. <clears throat> Poked around. West Hills the more will maintain possession. Still have it. And out on the far side. It will be a throw in for Taft. scoreboard up here for you shortly.
back live here from West Hills Lemoore. First half. Collision. And we have a player down for the Golden Eagles. As Taft will maintain possession. with it on the far side and looking for a centering piece this is going to be a goal kick About 35 minutes remaining here in this first half. No score. Taft in the white, West Hills in the blue. One in the box there. Oh, that's a beautiful look. See that again on replay. That's going to be a corner kick. See on replay. We'll have a, a 
set piece from the corner for West Hills Lamore. Here comes the ball in. From the far side, nothing doing there outside of the box. West Hills Lamore maintains possession. is going to be here. It's going to be a free kick on the far side for Taft. Crossing ball that's going to go past the goal. It'll be a throw in. Contact on the near side. Corner kick coming here for Taft. This could be an opportunity here for the Cougars. Short ball and a challenge inside. Do we? Is this going to be a penalty? Did this occur inside of the box? We'll see it here on replay. And there is, that's a, it's quite the collision. That's going to be a penalty kick. I think they're talking about it. This should be a PK for Taft. And indeed, PK opportunity coming. That went in, blocked by West Hills. And the score remains nothing, nothing, nothing. Another opportunity, and wow, what a job. In goal for West Hills Lamore. Play just a terrific job in goal. We'll play that one for you again shortly. As West Hills keeps it a no score affair in this first half. Well, it was Moises Cisneros taking the PK for Taft and he's denied.
Sergio Serrera, Sergio Sierra, excuse me, on the save for West Hills. And what, what an effort on the PK. So we remain scoreless here. From West Hills. Sierra takes care of business there. And West Hills looking to threaten here. Free kick, mid pitch. That pass intercepted, and West Hills Lamore now with possession, middle of the field, bit of a whiff on that one. That ball will stay in, a challenge, a late one, and it'll be a free kick coming to West Hills Lamore. There's Angel Flores, fouled and It'll be Jonathan Torres. Excuse me, not Jonathan Torres. That's Diego Valencia. With a nice ball near the middle of the top of the box. Box out. Some nifty footwork there from Donovan Batres. But possession will fall to Taft on the far side. Moises Cisneros denied on the PK, and what a sequence that was. Let's take it back to the penalty kick. As we see the save there from Sierra, and then another quick opportunity and the save. So back-to-back -back save for Sierra on that sequence. That was earlier in this half, and just incredible work by Sierra. Sierra looking to have a, a pretty busy first half as Taft is really dominated in terms of time of possession. A player down for West Hills. Looks like we're going to have to have a substitution. Player for West Hills. It's down Ezekiel Corona. So Corona is going to come off. Looks 
like he's going to be replaced by Richard Torres. That one kicked out and off of West Hills the more so we have a corner kick coming. Angelo, go behind the goal. Gotta run over. West Hills just trying to get through the first half scoreless. And again, it was Sergio Sierra with a huge save on a PK attempt from Taft. So we have the offsides flag up for Taft. Pedro Silver, Silva trying to mark. Ball off to the far side for West Hills Lamore. And position back now to Taft as they kick it forward. And back and forth we go with possession, but still Taft. Oh, well, now they'll say throw in. It's a solid sequence of keep away for Taft. Is that one's kicked ahead? And Sierra will kick it away. Kicking up ahead for his Vicente, Vicente Rojas. Ball's going to head, maybe sail out of play. Finally, it does. Possession of Taft. No score here from West Hills Lamour. Little under 20 minutes remaining in this first half. Cougars and the Golden Eagles here on SoCalCollegeSports.com. A full slate of coverage here today on our website. It'll be West Hills Lamore men's soccer going on right now. Six o'clock tonight, women's volleyball. The Golden Eagles take on the Taft Cougars in 3C2A women's volleyball. And we also have high school football this evening. It will be Glendale and Hoover from Moise Stadium. 
in Glendale, California. Meanwhile, it's Taft with the whole gamut of defenders back for West Hills Lamore. They have really had tough sledding here, trying to get anything going offensively. Taft, just very skilled possessors of the ball. See that one get away. West Hills Lamore trying to maintain possession on that far side. Christian Lamas. Lamas gives off. Diego Valencia. Just nothing doing there. No runners on the far sides. Or down the ends. It's been all tapped here in this first half. Throw in deep in West Hills territory. We'll have some substitutions for Taft. Everyone seemingly marked for West Hills. From Taft. Late challenge. This is going to be a free kick in a dangerous spot. This is going to go to Taft. Quick restart for the Cougars. This should be a corner kick. That that looks like it went off of West Hills, but Golden Eagles get away with one there. It'll be a goal kick. And they go back and forth in the middle of the pitch. Taft with possession. Joseph Hutchins in for Taft. Given off to the middle. Isaias Mireles. Off to Brian Trujillo. Trujillo, that's a pretty good ball into the box. He's looking for Nathan Gutierrez. West Hills takes it away. And the passing has just been a little off here for West Hills Lamore. Donovan Batres looking for Julio Diaz down the near side. Instead, possession back to Taft and the Cougars. Trying to get one in twine. Easier said than done, though. Against the likes of Sergio Sierra. You see, bat that one away. Right. 
You, you look at the passing there. I mean, that that's something that just hits his man right on target for Taft. Nothing doing there. They're looking for Steven Fuentes, and Fuentes unable to corral that ball before he goes out of play. Still no score from West Hills Lamore as the Golden Eagles hosting Taft College here on SoCalCollegeSports.com's live coverage. 3C2A men's soccer. Mireles gives off to Enrique Gomez. Gomez pushes forward. Here's Mireles. We'll play it back and Taft just looking to position their players for attack. Hutchins. Trujillo, Trujillo. That's a pretty good ball there from Trujillo. He had Ebucheku Ekpemogu. Throw in. And we have a challenge and a foul going to go against Taft in West Hills. Lamore with a player down. Foul on the far side. That ball. Challenged. And apologies, everyone. We are having some issues with. With our audio. Try and get that back online momentarily. Dangerous ball into the middle of the box. Headed out. Now let's see if the Golden Eagles can get something going here. That ball on the near side hits the foot of Julio Diaz. Diaz along the barrier. Still with possession, and now Lamore looking to move some players and attackers into the side of Taft. 
Late challenge, no call made. Check. Check once. Check, check. Nothing doing much there for the Cougars. About 40 minutes gone by here in this first half. Seth. That ball headed forward by Hutchins from Taft. Apologies, everyone. We are having some difficulties with our check. Check one. Check one. Check. Check. We are having some issues with our audio here at the field. Again, we apologize for that. No score, and the highlight of this first half was a saved penalty kick from Sergio Sierra of West Hills Lamore. But Taft, with much of the possession of this first half, very dominant, unable to scratch one across. And if you're going into half, no score, considering how much possession 
Taft has had in this first half, you'd have to take that as a win for the Golden Eagles, but have to muster up some kind of offense. But Taft in the white, still with possession. This ball into the box there. Crossing opportunity, no, it goes beyond the back line. It'll be a goal kick for Sierra. As time in this first half winds down. Happy you've joined us, everyone. Spread the word, www.socalcollegesports.com. Also on YouTube, SoCal College Sports 1. Taft still with possession. As Cougar, Cougars will kick it ahead. That's a terrific job of boxing out on that far side. Man there for West Hills the more Christian Lamas. Lamas marking Nathan Gutierrez. Be a free kick for West Hills the more. Coming up on forty five minutes. Gone by in this first half. Not sure how much stoppage time we will have. Ball brought near side for West Hills as they push players forward. And West Hills with a runner. And quickly converged on there defensively by Taft. It was Sebastian Ruiz making a play on it. And this one kicked out off of West Hills Lamar. Kicked off of Julio Diaz. Throw in for Joseph Hutchins. Hutchins gives back. And it looks like that will do it for this first half. So we go in at the half, scoreless from West Hills Lamore.
get ready for the start of the second half here from West Hills Lamore. And we are underway. Starting out with possession here. Throw in. And a, a bit of a factor on this side it's picked up in the second half as you can probably hear it West Hills battling for possession. They have it. And poked away. Back to West Hills. <laughs> Taft. Can you get a little brighter there, Seth? I'm off you.
As we see some contact made. <clears throat> this is going to be a free kick for West Hills. And an opportunity, not that we've seen a lot, but an opportunity here. For West Hills to get a ball in. Conversation here, two players jockeying for position. Looks like it's Jesus Martinez. Free kick in, and that one quickly thwarted by the Cougars. Cougars looking to counter, but just trying to move the ball forward into Lamore territory. Dangerous ball in there. And Sierra. Again, shining in goal. We'll see it one more time. And the star today here for West Hills Lamore has been Sergio Sierra. Sophomore from Corcoran, California. Sierra in trouble and looks like we'll have the flag up. be a goal kick and sent away from West Hills it finds its mark as Edgar Ballesteros <coughs> kicks it ahead Fidel Arellano gets it to the far side to Jesus Martinez Martinez has that one kicked away a late challenge we'll have a looks like we're gonna have a free kick Aldo Pantoya. And the player that's hurt, it looks like Giovanni Avila. Avila. And then I wonder if we can go back and see what exactly happened here. see it here the late challenge and Avila on that late challenge gets caught up and you hate to see that looks like they're looking at that left knee we'll take a break
back to action. And it was Jesus Martinez had that, that had to come off. He's the player that's injured here today. Likely won't be be back for West Hills. Ball into the center of the box there from the Golden Eagles. And a renewed sense of urgency offensively here for West Hill, Hills Lamore. over to Taft in the white. And Taft will maintain possession that far side. Looks like it's Brian Trujillo and Pantoya. possession for the Cougars so West Hills will kick it away dangerous ball nearly getting past the defense and that's just going to be headed out by West Hills so a bit of troublesome ball handling for the Golden Eagles Results in Pantoya having a possession there. And the ball tackled away. And that's a nice, solid tackle. Ball contacted first. And they'll look troublesome. Physicality starting to be ratcheted up. First since the injury. That's a terrific play made by Hutchins, winning the possession, just throwing his body there. We have a foul going to be called against West Hills Lamore. If we can see what happened here, there, there might have been some retaliation on the takedown here. It, it looked like Pedro Silver got the worst of that one. Goes head first into the turf. <clears throat> Silva's going to come off. It's going to be a free kick. For Taft. So the Cougar, Cougars will move some players forward. Go wide. West Hills, give and go with a player and a takedown whistle. Is that a whistle in the box or on the edge of the box? Let's see if we can bring it up on the replay here. It's certainly a late challenge. The question is, is it inside the box? If it's inside the box, we're looking at another penalty kick. It looks like this is going to be at the edge of the box. So an opportunity. And now we have a player down in the box. Was there another scrum here? I wonder if we have this on replay. I don't think we're going to have it. Let's see here. A little 
We're back to live action here. Back to live, and looks like Ernesto Velasquez will take the set piece. No score. About under 30 minutes to go. The header is there for Taft. And the Cougars finally on the board off the set piece. Well, it initially hit the head of Christian Lamas, but then it finds the head of Aldo Pantoya. And Pantoya gets one on the board for Taft. They lead it one nothing. Pedro Silva Pedro Are you Silva? Okay. Just making sure. Can we get the thumbs up from Pedro? We have an injured player. Down for West Hills, and I wonder if this happened on the goal score. Nobody down there. Okay, was this something that happened maybe after the play? Not entirely sure. Could be the heat. It is pretty hot out. We're going to take a break in the action. Stay tuned. Ryan Trujillo, the injured player right now for Taft College. And Trujillo is in some pain. So 
So after the goal, it's one or nothing. We'll probably have some stoppage time, I'm sure. Start the clock. Start the clock. We're in the second half. Taft has taken a one nothing lead off of a header from Aldo Pantoya. He just headed it back to Carlos Lopez. Lopez working inside the box, and that one on goal but saved by Sierra. Well, Sergio has been quite the stalwart in goal here for the Golden Eagles, but uh, a bit of bad luck, just bad placement there off of the header from Pantoya. It, it, it initially hit a Golden Eagle. I believe that was Christian Lamas. But unfortunately, it, it wound up right on the head and with a great angle on goal. Pantoya made the most of it and went to the one nothing score. So West Hills now with possession. And it's tapped back with the Taft. Back back and forth we go in the middle of the pitch. Anto Pantoya. Near side, this is Enrique G Gomez. Gomez with it. Surveying the defense, just going to take it back. And with the inability of Lamore to really mount any type of offense, you can probably expect to have to take less chances here in this second half with a one goal lead. Near side, tap has it, Silva with the foul. This might be a, is this gonna be a card is the question. And injured player Alexis Bravo. Referee's going to have a conversation with Silva. No card. Probably telling him next time I see that there will be. Meanwhile, it'll be a free kick. It'll be Velasquez. Bluffing at it. Gives off to... Looks like that's Gomez. Velasquez gets this one into the box. Off of the head of Lamas. That one hits the face. Of a Taft player. I'll have a pretty good shot of this after the free kick. Velasquez to Gomez. And Carlos Lopez. Gets kicked in the back of the head by Lamas. He gave himself up, but in doing so, put himself in a bad spot. He gets kicked in the back of the head. We hope he's okay. Another break in the action. We'll be back. We'll be back.
Back to battle we go. As Gomez will bring it in. Lopez comes in off of his own power, but kicked in the back of the head. And he's he's smart in a little bit. A couple injuries, a few injuries in this second half. Ryan through heel earlier for Taft, and I want to say it was Jesus Martinez came off as well. Gomez getting ready to throw in. Gomez with some green in front of him gives off into the middle of the pitch. Hutchins. That's a game of keep away for Taft. They lead it one to nothing here. In the second half, about, well, there's going to be some injury time here. Sierra corrals this one. But the clock says about 17. It's likely going to be about 22, maybe. Could see five minutes of stoppage time here in the second half. The Golden Eagles trying to trying to make a moment of it, but again, the ball handling not there. This is Edgar ba Ballesteros. So Ballesteros has that ball go long and pass the goal line, goal kick for the Cougars. 6 p.m. this evening. It'll be women's volleyball. Here from West Hills Lamour. Ball comes near side. Taft the player off of it. And that's a terrific play made defensively. Angel Flores kicks it off the, the leg of Sergio Gonzalez and wins the possession. Want to send a shout out to Allegiance Collision. Body shop in the area here near Lemoore and while well, helping power this broadcast, very helpful. Past the goal line, and Sierra will collect. Or is this going to be a corner? This will indeed be a corner. Wide. Wide and zoom in as soon as the ball goes in. So, corner kick for Taft. This one sent in, Silva meets it with the head. Still not out of harm's way yet. Bravo sends this one in. Trying to corral this one to West Hills. <laughs> Sierra with a goal kick. Trying to push some men forward here. Silva will come off. He'll be replaced by Richard Torres. Torres along with Angel Flores. The ball tapped back to Hutchins for Taft College.
Brandon Munoz near side. Has it for the Cougars. Kicks it ahead. He has a man in the middle of the field, and the flag is up. He was looking for Moises Cisneros. Cisneros had a free run. But a bit of an offsides trap there from West Hills. Lamore worked perfectly. Spikes up and it's a foul called on West Hills Lamore. We're going to have a yellow. Yellow doled out for Diego Valencia. Spikes up. Tad tried to go quick restart there, but referee still marking everything down. <coughs> and we play on with Munoz having it near side, kicks it ahead, tapped out by Angel Flores of West Hills. Looks like this one went over the fence. One to nothing right now in the second half. Taft on top of West Hills Lamore, and it could have been more. We go back to the penalty save in that first half. Sergio Sierra. Couple of opportunities. Right back to back. And that one gets him in the grill, but. That's the play of the game. Pantoya with a goal for Taft. To make this a one nothing score, really just a, a, a tough bounce off of the head of the Golden Eagles. Lamas making contact with it in the box, and Pantoya right there. Munoz has it near side, intercepted nicely. This is Diaz. Diaz making a run. Diaz. Double teamed, and there's going to be a foul. This should be a yellow card. There's a yellow card going to go against Munoz. That's a good call. Free kick opportunity. Ball in the box, turned on by West Hills. The more Munoz bats it out. West Hills trying to send some players ahead. That one not there. 
Ballesteros trying to make a run on it. We'll see here on the replay, that's a terrific ball, just a little bit too much on it. And Ballesteros just a shade late. There was a collision. No harm, no foul, and we play on. Check. Taft, meanwhile, looking to counter. And the ball tapped out. Looks like possession should stay with, with the Cougars. As James Preston says hi to the booth. Interim president here at West Hills Lemoore. Eighty fourth minute here at West Hills Lemoore and Taft with a corner off the set piece. It was a set piece in a dangerous spot that led to the first goal for Taft. First and only goal here today. As we'll have a substitution made. Will it be Hutchins or oh, looks like Bravo is going to come off? Ebubachukwu Ekpemogu. Spark some offensive opportunity in that first half. And meanwhile, West Hills Lamora with some players forward. They have a runner, but the passing just has not been there today for the Golden Eagles. Late challenge. This should be a card. A blatantly late challenge from Gabriel Soto will result in a free kick and some heated tempers from both teams. Ezekiel Corona, the fouled party on that play. And Lamas, a chance at redemption here. Lamas sends this one into the box. And that went off of the mark. Just a little bit too much on it. Richard Torres, the intended target. He was at the back post, but... The angle not there, and he heads it out of play. There you go. Yes, sir. Thanks for saying hi. And we have possession now for West Hills. Is that one sent back? Is this going to be a corner kick one? And indeed it will be. Seth Garber, Angelo Solis, our cameraman here today at West Hills. Corner kick opportunity. For the Golden Eagles. That one into the box. Batted out momentarily. Sent back in. Only one man back. As the Golden Eagles send some players forward. Lamas. Receives it inside the box. He has a man. Lamas. Puts that one in for the goal. Christian Lamas.
We'll go to the action that preceded it. But West Hills would not be denied, and Lamas sends an absolute strike into the back of the goal. Excuse me, that's... Go off of the corner here. They were really never out of danger as we were watching the replay of the goal that equalized it at one all here in the 87th minute. Lamas receives it, turns on it, gives it off, and then gets it back. Turns and a lefty strike in. You talk about a hot shot in for the goal there from Lamas. Back to live action. Some momentum now for West Hills. We'll change the score. It's one, one all. Late from West Hills. Counter opportunity. Sierra Pantoya looking for his second. Looked like that might have been a handball in the box. They don't call it. Sierra with another save. Sergio Sierra, Sierra has been terrific here today. Christian Lamas on the goal from Pantoya for Taft was the player whose head it went off of that put Pantoya in perfect position to score the opening goal for Taft. And it's Lamas who puts it into the back of the twine to equal this game up at one all. Pantoya with players ahead. And that's a terrific play made defensively by Angel Flores. Flores up ahead, he has Diaz. Diaz to Ariano. Ariano had the assist on the goal to Lamas. Batres to the far side, Vicente Rojas. Rojas. Into the middle of the pitch, Lopez has that one batted back out. Batres inside. That one in for West Hills! And just like that, West Hills takes the lead. Well, the, met, the pressure continuing to mount here for West Hills. And Vicente Rojas with goal number two. Been a slow day for the goalkeeper for Taft College. And Rojas puts it into the back of the net. And what a turn of events. Dominated in terms of possession throughout today. West Hills Lamore looked like they were going to go down in, in a lackluster defeat. They score two goals in the last three minutes of regulation. We're in stoppage time right now. But in stoppage time, they take the lead, Vicente Rojas, after the first goal from Christian Lamas. And West Hills looking to, to hold on here for the win. Lamas heads this one out. Headed forward. Lamas gets this one out of harm's way momentarily. Velasquez converges on it. He'll throw in on the far side for Taft. The Cougars. Hutchins. Sends this one into the box. A collision there, a big collision with Sierra. This might be a card. And a yellow coming out indeed. Going to go against Elijah Espinoza. 
Sierra is slow getting up, but he's okay. And we'll have <laughs> West Hills trying to hold on and stop its time, taking to a one goal lead. Like that one maybe went out of bounds. Instead, it will stay with Taft and possession to the Cougars. Kicked out of play. Throw in for the Cougars. As Taft throws in. Far side and we'll have a goal kick. Goal kick for Sierra. Again, in stoppage time, West Hills Lamore, Lamas, and Rojas. Two goals in the final four minutes of regulation. And now it's a matter of time. And that will do it, West Hills Lamore. Two to one over Taft. What a game. What a comeback. Well, for everyone who had a chance to tune in and everybody who tunes in after, thank you for watching, everyone. Two to one, your final. The Golden Eagles on top of the Cougars of Taft and the Avenger loss from earlier in the year. Have a great evening. We'll see you at 6 o'clock for women's volleyball here from West Hills Lamore.